good morning in our previous discussion we have discussed the construction and working of lithium ion battery nickel metal hydride battery we have seen the construction of nickel metal hydride battery the working of nickel metal hydride battery uses advantages disadvantages and applications of nickel metal hydride battery so in today's discussion we are going to discuss the construction working and applications of lithium ion battery so lithium ion battery are a different type or set of batteries lithium batteries are a different category of batteries where lithium will be used as anode lithium batteries or a set of or different category of batteries where lithium will or lithium composites will be used as anode always cathode might be inert or some other active species but in lithium batteries always anode as lithium so i have lithium manganese oxide battery lithium carbon battery lithium ion battery right so lithium manganese oxide battery is a primary battery so lithium ion battery is a secondary battery so let us see the construction and working of the lithium ion battery so the lithium ion battery consists of a an anode and a cathode electrolyte and a separator so the anode the anode is made up of lithium cobalt oxide cathode is the inert metal which contains graphite so it is separated by a separator right so lithium cobalt oxide anode and graphite cathode are layered solids and can accommodate and can accommodate metals and their ions in between their layers so both lithium and lithium anode it's, it's very clearly shown in the diagram over here this lithium cobalt oxide and graphite both are layered solids so it can accommodate uh, their layered solids therefore it can accommodate the ions so the, so the cathode can accommodate the lithium ions whereas the anode can accommodate the graphite so since they are layered solids, so this is the layer of uh, lithium cobalt oxide, it's another layer. So to accommodate the lithium ions in their layered solids. So the process of metals and their ions entering into the layered solids is known as intercalation. So due to this process itself, we can get the power. So during discharge process, when you're using your mobile, so you know that most of your mobiles contain what lithium ion battery so during when you're using your mobile what happens lithium from lithium cobalt oxide will be liberated as li plus will be liberated as li plus and it enter into the and enter into the cathode that is graphite so here this is the anode over here so in the lithium cobalt oxide lithium will be liberated this lithium will move into the cathode that is graphite layer solid and it will get uh, here it will enter and it will get accommodated in the graphite so graphite being a layered uh, solid accommodates all li plus ions lithium ion thus completing the conduction process so here the lithium cobalt oxide so here during the discharge process it liberates lithium ions these lithium ions move towards the graphite the graphite is a layered solid so lithium ions will get accommodated one by one in this process so once it accommodates what will happen the conduction process will complete so this process continues until the entire lithium present in the lithium cobalt oxide uh, get accumulated in the uh, layered solid graphite so now the charging process will start so when you connect this for external power supply you're supposed to charge the battery so how it will charge so this will uh, when you supply the current so lithium plus will accept the electrons and it will slowly move towards the anode so lithium plus ions present in the cathode will accept the electron undergo reduction and the reaction gets reversed and it will slowly move towards the cathode right so the process will be reversed this is how it will work so let us see the reactions at anode and cathode so whatever i have told you that is at anode what will happen lithium cobalt oxide gives us lithium ions so these lithium ions will be moving towards the cathode right and will get accommodated so this lithium ion how will it get accommodated it will accommodate in the graphite as a layered solid right so this lithium ion will accept the electron it will form lithium graphite why it is shown as lithium graphite because it will go inside and get accommodated inside the graphite over here therefore it's known as lithium graphite this is the overall reaction so carbon is nothing but the graphite here shown as carbon okay 
So let us see the advantages of your lithium ion battery. So it is high energy density is very high. So there is flat discharge voltage. So the lithium ion batteries are environmental friendly. It have long shelf life, long cycle life, high voltage, the functions of the safety circuits, flat discharge. So especially the shelf life and cycle life are very, very high for lithium ion battery. So disadvantage is service life is very less high self discharge dis discharge by itself and maintenance cost is high and limited discharge current. So these are the disadvantages of the lithium ion battery. So what are the uses? So they are used in mobiles, they are used in laptops, they are used in electric vehicles, toys, digital cameras, torches, etc. They are also used in tools such as cordless drills, drilling machines. They are also used in saws and variety of gardening equipments. They are used in portable radios, portable TVs, etc. They are used in cardiac, that is heart pacemakers and other uh, implantable uh, devices. They are also used in semiconductor driven audio, etc. So these are the major applications of lithium ion batteries. Thank you.